nice. We, we were going to do this one. We had kind of talked about 90 Day Fiance, B90 Strikes Back, where they're really taking multiple the contestants. Levels. Yeah. Yeah, it's like a 90 Day Fiance Inception. It is. So they have... A... It's nice to know that they are also in on the gym. That's what they're trying to show. They're trying to trying to make it look like that for sure. Uh, I think that they're they're having so they have pillow talk, which is prior show members uh, coming on to comment on the current show that's going on, and then they had this show, which is the the current show members commenting on the pillow talk people commenting on the show members originally. So it's like them getting a chance to strike back at the people hating on them. Yeah. So we're going to hate on the people hating on the haters. About a talking head show about a reality romance. Yeah. And this is this is our first try at this, so we're going to see how it goes. Let's let's hop right in uh, to the intro here. 90 Day Fiance, B90 Strikes Back. Getting ready to watch the very first episode. Let's see what they have to say about Big Ed. Ed's our favorite. Ready. That is definitely right, my favorite. Let's do this. We're going to watch my episodes. Are you ready? That guy's a close second. Oh, the cat tree. Watch your bicep. The David. <laughs> weird things down under. Oh. Yeah, let's do it. See, they're going to walk us through. It's definitely a dirty dress, that's for sure. That is quite a dress. I wonder who she thinks she's getting married to. He's like, my visa was getting denied. I never said denied. It's bullshit. Mayonnaise makes it strong smoother. accusations. Why uh, is the uh. condom in your hair? That's not a condom. <laughs> so those it's are the pillow talkers. Cap. So I don't get the mayonnaise on my Italian leather sofa. So they get to stand up for themselves. Oh, He's a man of Chris fine taste. Time, Dad. William's lying or not lying? Wow. Darcy's first problem is she thinks that wedding dress looks elegant on her. OMG. Shots it fired. Looks freaking F A B. Fab. Okay. This is Big Ed. Yes, it is. Big Ed. I used to be a young stud. That approach on the tennis court is how she approaches her relationships fast and wrong. Damn. Oh my god, this this is what I've been saying. Avery is annoying, and it's just the first episode. <laughs> I found myself Damn. annoying too. I don't think she's annoying. I think she had to deal with a lot. Why would you sign up to do this? To I think it's messed up. <laughs> the one person with a bad camera, you know. Here we go. Oh. It's on. I feel like they were able to hook up cameras. Big for Ed the gave himself a nickname to make himself feel better about being so He's clearly sponsored by them. Look at that setup that gave him. So I'm excited to go watch. Did you yeah. see that? Are we gonna get another look at that? I'm taking that. I'm gonna bring that back. Real quick. Let's, let's, uh, yeah, go back. Let's see what's going on here. Wine is a hug and a glass. I wonder if he got that and has set this whole thing up for himself, or. Yeah, uh, I think that's his wine station. He's like a fancy suburban wine mom and has like his little place where he does the ritual. It could be. Like, I mean, I mean, he even has one of the like home decor signs. Where wine is like a hug in a glass. I agree. It's definitely a setup. It's seen some use. You can see the red wine stains on the, the cutting board there. Uh, he needs more paper towels. He's out of paper towels. That's an issue that's going to bother me. Is. Uh, if I'm in the kitchen with him. Oh yeah. I'm also wondering what's going, what's hanging from the door over there in the middle. Is that a, like a, some type of thing that secures the door? What is, is that a screen? Is Ed live in a bad neighborhood? It could be. Oh, you know what it is? It's one of those uh, bug screens. He keeps the door open, and it's got that. It's oh one of those. Oh my god, that's hundred percent. It's one of those is. magnetic uh, screens. Yeah, it's like a there you go. curtain. Ed lives in California, right? Yeah, Ed lives in California. Yeah, so he keeps the door open a lot. That makes sense. That checks out, Ed. Um, yeah, they they're both the same brand of wine. Uh, he may have a a personal preference, but I'm thinking maybe they hooked him up with a sponsorship. You know, they I think Ed needs a step stool to get any of that stuff above his fridge. 
He calls his daughter over for projects that are that <laughs> high. It's going to be enough, so I got two. Anyway, so I'm excited to go watch Ed, the show. this might be why you put on the pounds and, uh, look the way you did. Yeah, I was thinking that same thing. Fill in two bottles of wine every night. I was wondering that same thing. See, part of the quality downgrade is us. Most of it's her camera, though, I'm telling you. So she has, you can tell from the, the clear subtitles that it's not uh, anyone's problem but the Wi-Fi. Not great bandwidth in the Philippines. That's what it is. Okay, Teddy, you're excited? This happens every time. 54, San right Diego, there. California. Right there, beautiful. That's perfect. Oh, my God. You know what? I have nice fingernails. I never noticed that. What a strange thing to observe. And I had a woman tell me this one time. I'm like, what do you like just, most about me? Um, that's a lady goes, just really nice reaching hands. to the bottom like, of the bag for a compliment. That's what that is. Those mani petties pay off. So he just went out of the way to pay himself a compliment through something that a lady allegedly told him one time. Yes. A lady brought up yeah, how nice certainly. his hands are, which, you know, probably happens more than it would with your buddies being like, dude, nice manicure. Bro. It looks like he spends a lot of time with pretty ladies. I mean, my dad always made a point of, he, he did his own manicures at home. He did his own. Yeah. My dad does the same thing, but it was because back in the day when you were like, if you did sales or you were dealing with anyone in business, one of the things yeah, they always used to say by... is the first thing that you see on someone is their hands. Yeah, and if they take care of that, they take care of the rest of the business. And yeah, if they have uh, dirty fingernails, like ew, gross. And that was not the motivation behind Ed, from what he said. No, he he likes the compliments. No, it seemed more like he likes Manny Petties, and he goes, "See, the Manny Petties." Oh, paid he's off like defending his choice to to get Manny Petties. If he had a rationale like behind to... it. He would have used hey, this look, as a platform to if you speak look on his closely, point. Um, Ed has uh, paper towels. Hmm. Continuity break. I wonder if he had a spill and he had to clean it up with the last of his paper towels. There's only one bottle, so uh, he probably has the a bottle he opened in his glass over here with him, and he refilled the paper towels. That's my theory. Yeah. Or they took it, like when they were doing that shot, they took the paper towels down because they didn't like the way it looked or something. It's uh, white. We, it could have been catching light weird. Uh, we also, optical illusion, could have been. Uh, we also got a little bit of more info on his wine habit. It looks like yeah. he has a whole stock of that, ident like the exact same uh, red wine. Same brand. I mean, I do the same. I buy the same six pack over and over again. Of vodka handles? <laughs> no, of beer. Oh, okay. That's I like, kind of uh, I got on like on a Kona big wave kick and I uh, like always kind of have those in the fridge. Everybody has their go to. Uh, I personally, uh, I have a strain called cereal milk right now that oh, nice. I obtained a few grams of. Uh, it's a nice sativa, strong sativa. Um, but that's been my go-to. I like to like to keep that one around uh, as Ed does wine. As Ed does with yeah. his Mulbeck. Oh, he loves that Mulbeck. He hasn't given us the winery name yet, so I'm not sure if they sponsor him or if that's just like, hey, He's showing them look what kind of access I could have. You need to start sending me cases. I'll start dropping that name all I think, the time. I think he's just a bad. I think he is paid. He was given that, and he's just a poor advertiser. He was so focused on. Oh yeah, it. maybe he's just bad at his his job. He's they're gonna cut you cut you off, buddy. He wanted the Melbeck in his gullet too bad. He couldn't you know waste the time to talk. <laughs> gullet about the is brand. the perfect word for what Ed looks like. He could catch a fly with his tongue. Uh, yeah, you know, uh, he he could. I think he could. I have confidence in him. 
I think it could. And something tells me that he like. What? Oh shit! And we'll be right. I gotta go real quick. I'll be right back. Karmically, that's no bueno. Did you give away Beast Kill? Holy shit! That was exciting. Did you give away Beast Kill? Uh, B caught a mouse because we have a house from 1937, and when it gets cold, the mice try to come inside. Mm -hmm. And we live next to an abandoned property. So, uh, you know, they probably live around there, and they try to come where it's warm. And B does not let them get too much further than the sun porch. Good. She's doing her job. So she will... Uh, she catches them and then she brings them into us, like inside, and is like, hey, look what I've done. I'm so mighty. And then she drops them in the fucking living room and chases them around and plays with them. So is this one dead? Uh, so we picked her up and brought her out on the front porch. She spit it out. I went to go get a paper towel because I thought it was dead. And it hopped up and ran... Uh, to the edge of the porch and leapt into the bushes. So, it's... but it looked gravely <clears throat> injured. So it's just maimed. Yeah, like it wasn't. You can get it, in it... trouble for maiming barmits. I know you're supposed to kill them. I blame I blame you hu humans. B hadn't released it from her mouth even. She's like, no, nah, this motherfucker. I, I didn't execute him for a reason. I had plans for this afternoon. Dude, I wanted I to cannot show watch you her, dude. so that I'd get claps, you know? Yeah, yeah. Maybe a treat. Every time she brings me a mouse, I go get her a wet food. That's from what I was about to say. Maybe Petco. some fresh fish food or some shit. Yeah, so like she and I have got a Extra deal oily. worked out where she gets like a special food anytime that happens. So she won't eat them. What's, I mean... But, are they not allowed to eat mice? Well, some of your our neighbors like use poison pellets and stuff. Mm. And so if the mouse is eating anything like that, it'll poison the cat. Or if it gets into any other heroin or anything. You know, yeah. We don't want to be don't want her strung eating, out. Eating weird mice and getting like tapeworms or something. Or like you have her in here just laying on the couch all the time, not slapping her little kitty arm, asking for more. Just yeah, more, I just need I just need one more mouse, man. Just make she sure it's loves, from next uh, door. That's a good. That's a good shit. She she loves sadistically torturing them though, and I just like will not watch it. That's why. I mean, I think they bring it to you in order to perform the game in front of you, like to show you. Yeah, you this know what is I mean. How I like to play. It's really fucked up. Like yeah. she plays with a mouse exactly like she does, like the little soccer balls we have. For. like i'll throw a ball and she like bats it around and like pounces on it and bites it and like she's it's it's primal it's fucked up nice uh but she's so, over the course of having b we've lived in like rent houses in norman the city then we bought a historic home and so she's probably bought brought me a dozen mice and only one time did she actually kill one well like I said, I think it's all part of the process, and that's that's part of the process. Yeah. It takes, like, her process is, like, eight hours of her sadistically torturing this thing. Or maybe she's, like, a, a like a trapper and trader, and she's realized that she can get gold if she if she capper, captures raccoons in the wild and turns them in to the trader. <laughs> you know? She's like, I can get wet cat food if I turn in these shitty like, I'll trade you my buckskin. No, it's good. Look. No poison. Look, it's a good. Mm, Take a, make a beaver hat. You can make a mouse uh, loincloth out of this if you get two or three of these. Oh man, that's gross. <laughs> so what? No, what? You, so you would you would wash it, and tan it first. No worry. Uh, yeah, no, worry. she's way into it. Yourself. Uh, and at, we knew she thought there was a mouse somewhere because she's been like crouching uh, by the back door. Like, there's one trying to get in, and one got in, and she immediately pounced on it. Been waiting. Now she's very pleased with herself. We're all pleased with her. She's done great. 
Uh, she gets super pissed when we take it away, though. So understand it. Well, she's, maybe she's not down for the trade. I think she then she's bringing it to perform in front of you, and you always fuck yeah, up. Yeah, I mean, she wants the food like immediately, but I'm not gonna. We don't feed her again until six. So, well, I think gotta keep her on uh, schedule. She'd eat all day, and she'll eat until she throws up. Like she's a glutton. She's like Ed. You know, don't judge. I think it could be a, a metabolic issue, like a, you know what I mean, like a glandular problem. The the cat vet we take her to thinks it's actually psychological. I'm talking about Ed. Oh, I think Ed too. Like our cat was a Sagan founder in a dumpster outside of the library, and so like she was a kind of feral and had to fight for food and food was not plentiful it was like hard to come by she was eating like pizza crust and shit and uh mm -hmm. now you know she has food and she like i don't know like one of those dogs that hasn't had access to water and they get like obsessed with water and, like will drink until they throw up yeah they bloat themselves uh, yeah that yeah you're probably right that is what happened to ed uh I wonder how long he was kept outside away from the <laughs> Ed's parents just tied him to a tree. Yeah. Or just didn't let him back in, like put a put a gate up outside that he couldn't get over. His in mom's Southern pretty California, short. Man. You know. I bet he had a like a tall Italian well, a normal size Italian <laughs> dad. <laughs> yeah, right. I don't want to go does, too crazy. <laughs> you don't see too many does, tall Italian guys. I wonder what Ed's parents look like. We saw his mom, remember? She looks just like Ed without the oh, yeah. gla without the gland that's where, issue. That's where you get it. He looks like he has, like, Turner syndrome. So it's crazy to me that he, like, isn't sterile. And was I think it was confirmed he wasn't because of that early picture we saw of him back when he used to look, you know. Normal. Normal. I was going to say, yeah, normal feels wrong for some reason when you say it. Because it suggests I mean, that he's abnormal now, but... He is like he's a shape that I've never seen another person be. I think it's his Molbeck diet. Yeah, like Ed specifically gains weight like like football shoulder pads. Uh let's see what Ed has to say. He's uh he's trying to just he's, weird fat distribution. You know, he's he's making a point with those pretty hands of his. Let's let's hear what he let's hear what he has to say. Beautiful hands. After, after that point about the, and I think if he had a platform that he wanted to speak on, like that you need good hands for business or the ladies like to see nice hands when I'm groping them on their thighs or whatever point he'd make, uh, oh. he would have brought, he would have used this platform to bring it up. But I think it doesn't just, seem like a groper. He just wants people to hang out at the Manny Petty shop with him. And he's like, told you so bitches. I mean, that is a better theory than mine that Ed just uh, wants to pay women to touch his feet. That could be. He, that's how he got into little Asian women. <laughs> yeah, exactly. He's, He's like, like I, love you, if, uh, I love how you... I love how you. the ones here will touch my feet, imagine what the ones still living in the Philippines would do. Yeah, he like one day he caught himself up there and he's like, wow, I just... I love how you, uh, you, you keep your legs shaved um all yeah. the time this is the neatest thing in the world i think i'm gonna find myself a nice young lady who likes to shave her legs yeah he's like a porpoise let's let's hear him out let's hear him out here all right perfect i actually gave myself the name big ed because it makes me feel tall i'm actually 411 no, not in so heels sad. i'm kidding <laughs> no He's not. He's not kidding. And he's not kidding either. My height is something. Oh. Why do you man. think he told her he was five two? Because apparently it mattered. Yeah, exactly. Because I think she's he's four probably... eleven. He gave himself a nickname to not feel small. Which, like Ed, just let every just casually dropping the saddest little anecdote I've. I've heard from him yet. And if I remember correctly, so he's he's gotten a new place since this show kicked off. And we'll get to see it here in a second. But when you see his studio now in retrospect, you see why he made his home look like he did back in the day. Yeah. 
he's obsessed with a certain uh age group and yeah look <clears throat> most definitely i'm Let's... surprised he didn't just like hello kitty his house <laughs> we're gonna we'll see here in a second that i'm very self-conscious of but it's something that he's I've got been able to overcome because i'm big ed you guys are great thanks again thanks again yeah. oh, big awesome. i've been getting a ton a feedback Thick. online. I want to try to find some of these tweets. Thick Ed. Here we go. Big Ed ain't seen a neck since the 80s. Oh, my God. These are so mean. I have a condition called KFS. It's clipophile. Oh, thank God. I was born with it. And instead of having seven cervical vertebrae, I have three that are the size of two. So I have limited movement in my neck. And I um, have a larger than normal chest cavity. And I'm shorter in stature. So it's something. That okay, so oh, that's I a combination. Like dog shit now. Well, I think the, the from what he said is so is it all three of those things, or is it the one yeah. and then he happens to have an abnormally large chest cavity? What's it called? I bet he'll tell us again. Let's take it back. Oh, I found it. Clipple Ed, file syndrome. Okay. What was that again? It's a condition Ed? affecting the development of the bones in the spine. Things. People with KFS are born with abnormal fusion of at least two spinal bones yep. in the neck. Common features may include a short neck, low hairline at the back of the head, and restricted movement of the upper spine. Ah, oh, that's so sad. It's uh, super rare. Wait, so it doesn't have anything to do with a large chest cavity? Like, no, that's not part of it. Uh, I think it it does, dude. Some of the Ed looks better than some of them. Some of them look like they have Habsburg jaw. <laughs> I I feel like. Uh, what? So, what is that? What does that look like? Perhaps, how do you spell Dude, that? Google Google image uh, Clipple file syndrome. Clipple or feel? Uh, yeah, F feel syndrome. E I L. It is awful. That is so sad. Okay. I guess you can live like a full yeah life. You know, um, and I think there is surgery. Head and neck. It's it's about the head and neck. Dude, your there. hairline goes to your back, basically. I know it isn't. <laughs> I think it's more about it's because of the lack of uh, vertebrae up in that well, area. Yeah, there's not a lot of real estate. Yeah. Up there. So your neck meat. You don't need a lot of extra neck meat between head and back. Ooh, saying neck meat is the most disgusting thing. Neck skin. I mean, there's more or, than just no, skin going right. on back it's there. Neck meat. There's, dude, there's that guy, skin the, and the, muscle, like Bulgarian weightlifter looking dude there, <laughs> right in the middle. Yeah, I know who oh, you're talking about. Sweet, <laughs> you, don't, you don't have to tell me which guy you're talking about. <laughs> uh, it doesn't say anything oh. about the chest cavity. I want to know. Okay, so let's hear him. I want to hear that again. And instead of having seven cervical vertebrae i have three that are the size of two so i have limited movement in my neck and Tiny i neck. um have a larger than normal chest cavity and i'm shorter in stature so okay so i think the larger than with that yeah like season back at the beginning of the season so that <laughs> people didn't troll you the whole fucking season uh, yes like beautiful you hands. live in america now where he you are considered a disabled person, and it is in poor taste to make fun of the disabled. So, why'd you, yeah. So, why did you put all of this mean tweets? You put everybody through all that, being so mean to you. Why would you do that to us? And much like the wine, Ed is terrible at marketing himself. I know, right? You got to you lead with that. You'll get double the young Asian ladies. I'm telling you right now. You got to play the game, Ed. You're not playing the game right. They won't care if you're four ten. They'll say, oh, it's, he's got the clipple. He's got the clipple feels. You know, yeah, what are you going to do about it? he's differently abled. Yeah, he's like, that's why, that's why I get the way I am. I got the clipple feels, huh? Don't worry about Dude, it. Dude, I'd get a motorized wheelchair and a sob story real quick. That's a better way to go about it. I think he, I think he, uh, he lumped in the uh, larger than normal chest cavity in with the you, other you symptoms think, in order to slide not his a weight. of his... There's none of this has, they didn't say shit about weight issues. 
Yeah. Like, other than this, other than, than this kid. <laughs> Google symptoms of drinking two bottles of wine a night for. <laughs> that's what it is. And being sad about having little neck syndrome. I'm telling you, that's how you put on the weight. It's not from this thing. Okay, hold on. These kids are skinny. That little power lifters, he's felt, you know, he's got a nice little <laughs> he is body. Felt. He's also quite swarthy. That dude is like hair covered. He looks like the wolf man. Yeah, and if he if Ed were to walk around with that type of swagger on him, nobody'd ask any questions. Uh, I didn't, you're right. I'm not saying anything about chest cavities or weight. Like I feel like it's totally because of how hard that life is and the depression that you probably deal with, um, combined with like you said, his Malbec habit. He oh, I found his the six pack of Malbec a day that he grabs. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. Historically, KFS was associated with a classic triad of symptoms, specifically abnormally short neck, restricted movement of the head and neck, and low hairline at the back of the head. Those are the ones. Uh, yeah. However, researchers uh, have uh. determined that these symptoms may define one class of KFS, which account for less than 50% of affected individuals. Oh, okay. In, a, in addition to the fusion of uh, certain vertebrae, it can be associated with a wide variety of additional anomalies affecting many different organ systems in the body. The progression of, and severity of KFS can vary greatly depending upon the specific associated complications. Uh, some are mild. Uh, others may cause serious lifelong complications. Dude, Ed, stop drinking so much, dude. I didn't You're already hear, fucked up. Didn't hear the symptom. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to stick with... I'm going to stick with making fun of that, that area that isn't specific. Under development of the shoulder blades. Uh, if anything, I feel like that'd make a smaller, maybe it's a bigger chest cavity. If fusion of certain if ribs or other rib are, defects. Like if your back's like this, it might make your chest cavity bigger because your back's like compressed. Yeah. I, <clears throat> it, it's also saying you can have uh, uh, like things Oh, dude, if you, even, you can get a cleft, you can be born with a cleft palate with it as well. Yeah, because it seems like it's, it's like a developmental cell issue. Oh, dude, it, it causes renal problems. Stop drinking so much wine, Ed. Okay, well, let's, uh, let's hear him. He, he finally let us in on it. I'm going to continue to give him a hard yeah, time yeah, about the, the thick body cavity because that's not a medical issue. But uh, let's go. It's something that people get aren't really familiar fat. with, so they make fun of it. So stop it. Yeah. Again, should have let it that late. Is Rosemary. She's 23 years old, and she lives in the Philippines. And he's oh, how old? Of course, he's 54. That's like my mom dating you. He's younger than his daughter. Yeah, I know she's younger than my daughter. I know that already. What was I thinking? Rose, Ed. Ed, 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 Ed. I feel like I want to like him, but I have a feeling I'm not going to like him. What's that supposed to mean? Uh -oh, oh, my God. Like camera quality. She, you know, it's I so funny. It's exactly she reminds me of my sister. She's so, like, she's very skeptical. She's, like, the smart one. Like, she's, I, I feel like in that in their relationship, Between I bet you 100 two? bucks, like, she, she's the brains. Like, you know, he might make the money, but I bet you she wears the pants. Okay. We're gonna, have to, we're gonna have to talk about that comment for a second. And I don't think you're allowed to define relationships with those kind of uh, roles anymore, or you shouldn't at least. W was he just comparing him and his sister's relationship to that couple? Yeah. And the or no, she, he said she reminds him of her sister. She's a smart one. I bet she wears the pants in their relationship. Mm -hmm. So maybe his sister is domineering. Mm -hmm. In, their, Over in him. her relationship. In She's the smart one. Relationship. Ed is the malformed dummy. Yeah, you think Ed's sister like has the bod of her dad? Oh, yeah. She's like perfect in Italian or something. She I probably, like the idea of him being like a like a Italian shoe salesman or something. He's like very suave, debonair. And then he why is that abandoned he his strange misshapen family. Why, why shoes? Is it? Is it because he's just the Italians there? make great shoes, man? Oh, I figured it was just because he was already like uh, no Italian leather shoes down there in the zone. 
that are super pricey. He's like, I do, uh, I do pants and shoes. Uh, I tried jackets for a while and people got frustrated. I had to bring a little ladder around with me. It, it became a whole deal. Yeah, maybe that's how Ed got obsessed with Filipino ladies going down to buy cheap fabric in the Philippines with his dad. I think that's how he became obsessed with feet because that's all he saw on people for so long was their fucking feet. Oh, yeah, he's just down there. <laughs> I need to know more about Ed's world. father. Well, uh, I mean, I think we know what he looks like. When we saw him run into his mom, we're like, well, we know where he gets his build from. And, uh, but she's not like big like him. And, uh, I imagine that this tells us exactly what Ed's father looked like, like this little area right here, probably even a very similar haircut, something like this, maybe a, a windbreaker suit of some sort with some tennis shoes, all white, maybe. Dude, I need like a deep dive into Ed's past. Tell us what you of find. Of course, he rides around with a cat. I gotta on go on a back. diet. I didn't realize how fat I dog, look right? on my Vespa. Oh, this is dog. Okay, here's another one. This is Big Ed. Yes, it is. He just so can't stop with the self compliments. Is, I used to be a young stud. I did some modeling like way, way, way back. People tell me I look like Patrick Swayze. No, you didn't. Ed. I was. Uh. It's very interesting uh, that Ed's taking all of the opportunities that he has to talk and just like trying to flatter himself and talk about how sexy and badass he really is. Yeah. He's like, I look less hunchbacked. Yeah. Uh, you think that, you know, if I was doing From this, this angle, this is I, my one good angle. I would take this opportunity and all my time to be taking shots at the pillow talkers. You know, I'd be, I'd be hammering on that. I wouldn't be, you know, trying to take the Trump approach and just build myself up over everyone. That's not going to work. You're too short. You know, you got to hack everybody down to your size. That's the only approach on this. <laughs> yeah. Be know. vindictive. You're on TLC for Christ's sake. Yeah. Anyway, let's hear about how sexy he was. It was a stud muffin. Ryan, how you doing? Man? Doing well. Hey, awesome. Where are we shipping to today? Well, uh, what do you think? Yeah. On Gifts and got, like, multiple screens I've going on here. Got them, over got them five thousand dollars. Dude, he's God. on a first name basis with the shipping. shipping you don't store. send money ever to the Philippines. That's the last thing that you ever want to do, and that's one thing I never did. Nor did I send her sister money. That's I sent her gifts, but not money. What'd you send her last time? Oh my God, sheets, shoes, um, pillows. Um, I brought her dad a grill. I did not ask for the gifts. And how, uh, how can Fantis cost $5,000? It's hilarious, my goodness. How can so Fantis cost $5,000? So what else did he send you? Send her panties. She didn't, she didn't say that he didn't send her $5,000 worth of shit. She just said that it wasn't in panties. Yeah. You know, she didn't dispute the dollar amount. She's just like, panties don't cost 5000 bucks Anyway. But back to grilling. And I agree. It is extremely problematic that you're on a first name basis with the guy over at the mail shop. Yeah. That's, and they, he even knows the dog's name, dude. Yeah, he knows more about Ed and his relationships than Ed's daughter does. Yeah. Or more, probably, he's probably closer to Ed than this woman is. Than this one, for sure. He's got more secrets with her than he does with the mailman. Oh, yeah. It's all honesty with the mailman. He's 5'2". Yeah, he relates to him. Unfortunately, as far as I know, Rose hasn't received any of the many gifts that I've sent because she lives in a very poor and remote area. So That's why? it takes a long time. Everything did finally arrive. You know, I heard later on Rose is like, oh, you never bought me one dress. I'm like, okay, the dress you're in right now is what is from Learner's in Mission Valley in San Diego. What are you talking about? Did you come to San Diego oh, and buy shit. that dress for you? No, you didn't. So what do you have to say about anyways, that? Rose? Yeah. So she, I bought her probably about 10 dresses. Unfortunately, it never got there in time That's still not 5, by the time I arrived, but it eventually did because I started to see those pictures online of the stuff I bought her. Hmm. Teddy is my best friend. I cannot think about my life without Teddy. No dispute from Rose Teddy on that. Bear. Rose is like, 
Yes, I got it eventually. Um, all of I, it. I got most of my things. She ain't said shit about that. She's like, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Dude, maybe maybe remember. there's a lag. Maybe she'll say something here in like five minutes. <laughs> it's like the their post postal system. She's also <laughs> late and they uh, giving Ed any credit. Yeah, they well they space out the internet and they do it in a time wise fashion. So you're getting your connection yeah. ten to fifteen minutes behind everybody else in town. Like if you are in a poor rural area of the world and some idiot. I mean, let's let's call it what it is. Probably a little pervy, like wants to throw money at you. Like you would be stupid to refuse it. Yeah. If anything, you'd say, "Oh, it didn't get here. Uh, can you send more? Yeah, uh, more send dresses. it in. Send it in uh, like uh, my sister's size and yeah, like my mom's exactly. size and my da- my eha my little daughter's size. I'm gonna need a grill." Two girls, what one for me like a and one Foreman? for my uh, backyard. Like, could you imagine what international shipping costs on like a large grill? Like, it had he must be talking about like a hot plate or something. It's enough to build a relationship with the shipping guy to try to get deals and shit. Oh yeah, that's, that's true. what he's in there doing. He's sweet talking him, trying to get down his shipping costs. Dude. I can't imagine what the shipping shop people say about Big Ed when he's not around. I think we'll get to here. I think they do an aside with him here in a second. Oh, my little Ed will finally get to hear the shit he talks in private. He's going to get some mouthwash. You have bad, bad breath. He has bad breath. You're one to talk, Malbec. Love you, buddy. He's somebody that I can talk to. He's somebody that listens. The dog? I'll always have you. Oh, that's really Always on my titty. That's why you can't talk to anybody. There's another one in Twitter. Check this out. Teddy's Nobody like, I'm big this about the lifespan of dogs. What? Oh, shit. Oh, my oh, Jesus Christ. If Teddy ever leaves me, blooded. I will die. Oh, my God. Teddy's yeah. 11. So 11 in dog years means Teddy's <laughs> 77, which means he's probably drawing doggy social security. Nothing ever better happened to Teddy. I love him so much. Teddy's not long for this world, man. Yeah, it sounds like he hasn't. Right now, he really gonna... hasn't thought about it too much. He's seventy-seven He's years old. You know, we're His living until really one hundred and fifty now, so technically, that means a dog could live. You know, your dog long. starts to stink before it dies, and he's already saying he's his breath smells horrible. Yeah, that's old people stuff. Yeah, if he geriatric starts, dog stuff. Starts eating licorice. He knows he's in trouble. <laughs> Plus, I think it might kill the dog. I think black licorice actually kills dogs. Yeah, I think that would kill a dog. To embark on a journey of my journey in Australia. Hmm. Now, what we'll be doing is we'll be watching the segments. Ace. It's kind of exciting. And I'm looking forward to it, too. Can you go you know, lower with that V, Mary Ash? Jane joins me. We'll see if she wants to hang. I think that Ash and her have comparable V depth. In their, is she in their talking about shirt? bringing weed to Australia? Is that what she was saying? Because she, I mean, she's an alcoholic, so uh, normally she just drinks, but maybe she, maybe she smokes too. Let's see. Hang out tonight. We don't know, but usually she does. So we'll see. So guys, I have a confession oh, to make. Talking about a person named Mary Jane. I've never seen her show. <laughs> so it's going to be exciting. To see himself. Out. I wonder if they only get to watch their own clips or if they have to watch everybody I else's too. I am very much into health and wellness. Cheers, Avery. Exercising helps me feel <laughs> more confident. It definitely has helped with truly loving myself. <sighs> she looks stunning. Jesus. She looks stunning. I like to Why are you sitting like that, use my recipes with cannabis. That's right. Okay, yeah. So many health benefits <laughs> to marijuana. People thought I just infused my salad with a leaf, but the real <laughs> infusion came with the cannabis that I infused with the vinaigrette, and it will get you high if you if you eat that salad. It will get you high. That makes so much more sense than how she explained it in the video because she didn't mention any of that. She literally just said, "I infuse it with marijuana, ripped up the leaf, and put it in there." <laughs> <laughs> You're like, yeah, it, you can mm, eat families. It's technically, 
My cat likes to eat fan leaves. Don't talk about her like that. She loves them. Hey, don't talk about Avery like that. Uh, no. <laughs> I think that uh, it may have been what she was referring to earlier when she said she was going out to dinner with Mary Jane. Then maybe she was talking about making some weed food in a metaphor. That may be a bug. How old maybe- is Avery's kid? Like three? Yeah, old enough to not. Uh, There's a lot of care- toddler stuff there. Care about all the drinking and drugs around the house. Hey, marijuana is hey. not a drug. Hey, I mean, I guess it's a drug, but you know what I mean. We don't know where Coffee's she is. Coffee's a drug. Is that a mall back? You nah, say she drinks pot like, and you think of like a, like a typical yeah. stoner who sits on the couch, eats Cheetos all day, doesn't work, doesn't do anything. Okay, Jake. Avery, are you saying it's possible to get high from placing a single weed leaf decoratively on your salad? <laughs> <laughs> Have Jay been doing it wrong? The leaves were a healthy nutritional additive, which happened to also be a garnish. The dressing is what gets you high. Ash is 38 years old He's and he lives in Melbourne, in Australia. Oh. oh. Originally from Mauritius, the small island off the coast of Africa. He reached out to me on Instagram about nine months ago. And it was actually just to tell me your food looks amazing. And I was like, oh, he's actually pretty cute. I call him McSteamy or McDreamy. <laughs> he's, he's pretty. He's Ash hot. skips he every leg day. Sometimes. <laughs> I'm gonna guess that he's a bodybuilder <laughs> or a trainer or maybe a model. I love you, baby. You look really freaking sexy. Oh, you look really sexy, baby. Didn't expect that. Uh, I didn't like Thank that you, ladies. All. Yeah, you so did. That's why you wanted to watch. I gotta mention first, I was actually not attracted to Ash because of his hair. I thought it looked like a porcupine. Clearly. And I was like, okay, let's like move on from this. But then I talked to him personally, and I started to become very attracted to him just because of the spiritualness that he, like, portrayed. So oh, that's what attracted me to him. What? Ash is a relationship coach. That got you over that hair? Equals potential. Allow yourself to, to experience pleasure. He's so a single relationship coach? Sometimes I wonder, coach? maybe yes. I fell in love with him because it's he does know all the right picking things. Picking up a girl on Instagram. He's single only if you count, if, only if you don't count all the women that come to his seminars. Yeah. Yeah. He's like a pickup artist for women. Yeah. She, uh, she has to come in and, uh, like, when she's visiting, sit in on one of his relationship seminars that he puts on because she wanted to go check oh. it out. And it's... 10 women, 10 young women that you can tell came because they wanted to fuck Ash. And <laughs> the vibe the whole time is like the the most alpha girls in the group trying to bow up on his girlfriend in the back of the room by like making eyes at him the whole time. Oh, that's and saying, awesome. saying like, we don't care you're there. So I, I can't wait to see how they both defend and try to rationalize their way through that little deal. What is his... Uh... What are his qualifications? Uh, I think he's already discussed all of his qualifications. So if you didn't hear anything in there that was impressive, uh, you probably wouldn't be attending a seminar. But uh, something in what he's already said on Instagram just a second ago qualified him in all those women's eyes to be a seminar relationship coach. That's great. He's an Instagram. Because that's the type of shit that he does. Yeah, he's a motivational speaker. Yeah. That doesn't do leg day. I wonder if he's licensed. Mm, certified, maybe. Things to say. <sighs> I love the girl from Washington and hope it works out for her. But Austrian dude is a gigantic red flag rolled <laughs> into <laughs> human form. So true. Wow. Thank you. How do you get to that point when you have no idea who I am? Oh my gosh. That is the exact same defense that he used against Avery when Avery confronted him about all this bullshit back in in the season. We'll see it later on. 
he takes word for word that exact. How do you even get to the point where you think the things that you're thinking right now about me? And she goes, literally everything that you've said and done makes me think this. And he goes, that doesn't make <laughs> sense. You're speaking things that make no sense. This makes no sense. How do you even think this way? <laughs> That's amazing. Yeah, it's more of his walking red flagness. We'll get to see. So he's got canned responses for when he's confronted on his bullshit. That's awesome. Yeah. That is like, a red flag. It's some serious borderline shit. It's anytime someone like questions his approach, rather than trying to talk to them about it or explain it or make a joke about it even because you, you know, you've accepted that insecurity in your life and you're working on it, but you try to bust their balls back or something. He just immediately says, your view in reality is incorrect. I will no longer proceed in this conversation with you. You're mad. You are mad and outside your mind. And that's the red flag on uh, engaging with other people in a conversation. Yeah. It like explains definitely. something about your personality. So, for lack for of me, of. people that judge other people yeah. without knowing them is a syndrome called small-mindedness. He just judged them. Simple. He's never met them. Small-minded. I like that small-mindedness is a syndrome now. Don't mind the laundry. <laughs> that's what I like Jared to call it. is an ex of stupid. mine. Stupid people. We dated for oh, cute dog. a year and a half, but ever since we broke up, we've stayed really good friends. Let's check out Ash's and eyes. And there's a pretty big deal in the cannabis industry. This Jared dude she was hanging out with. Owns the biggest marketing and branding and advertising agency in the entire world for cannabis. His dick's so much bigger than so Ash's. single women all the time. All the time. And it's like, <laughs> am I going to be able to handle the fact that he's constantly with single women all the time, coaching them? In the beginning of our relationship, I noticed that Ash was online at all hours of the day and night. I confronted him about it. He said that he had to talk to clients. So I broke up with him. Yeah, Let me did. make this very easy for you. Cancel your ticket, go back with your ex. I know. So, it's only just beginning. I like the girl, but I don't like the guy. It doesn't give me a good vibe, I don't know. I honestly That's all you got? like <laughs> I think Every I think Ed, like, yeah this guy's uh this guy's a scam artist. I think Ed was on to something earlier in that relationship that uh, he's not necessarily the brains in the operation. Yeah. He's definitely yeah, he's, he's bringing the dick game to the table and that's about it. Um mm -hmm. but uh you know I'm not hating on his game. Uh, I mean it's a uh it's a tactic that usually Usually you at least have to teach a yoga class or some shit to to pull that one off. This guy is just makes points his camera at himself and babbles bullshit about relationships. It's I was I was talking about the the pillow talker that Ed was talking shit about earlier. The oh, tall, yeah. the tall guy from Tel Aviv. Yeah, he seems to be uh, pretty on it uh with his uh analysis on this one. Yeah. Everybody sees the red flags, but he's definitely not the brains. I agree with that. Uh, let's see. It's so funny when my gut instincts are like what other people's gut instincts are. And like, I should have listened to that before I left to Australia. <laughs> I'm traveling to the other side of the world to experience love and I'm, I'm risking a lot to experience love. Mm. Mm. What is she really risking right now? She's risking <laughs> what? Because the ultimate thing is that I will be moving there with her. So yeah, I'll be the one risking everything. My job, my work, my clients, my family, everything. My house. He listed off uh, pussy, 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 and then my family. <laughs> <laughs> my job, my work, my clients. And yeah, that's like family. the same thing. <laughs> and it's women. That it's the women awesome. that are different and young at every one of his events. And that's the only thing he's concerned with giving up. Whereas she does, you know, he he has a kid. He didn't mention his kid. He just kind of bolted in with family because she lives with the, the mom. Or he, the kid lives oh, with the mom. Oh, he has a kid. Yeah, with his first wife. And uh, <clears throat> he's, you know, he didn't. It, it was definitely not the first thing on his mind when he thought of moving off. But uh, I would, uh, if before I ever paid for any of his things, I would, I would need the like Yelp review from the ex wife. So, if yeah, you're gonna sell for, relationships, for some reason, he doesn't bring up his ex wife and estranged son 
at the relationship coaching events. <laughs> I don't know why. Because huh, it's a it's a down it's a bit of a downer. It is every time my numbers go down, so I just stop talking about it. <laughs> Bad for business, I say. Yeah. I'll did some uh, marketing research on it. Decided it was a no go. Yeah, we did a we did a sample group with. Uh, yeah, we had a focus my test. Little folk. We did a focus group with my ex wife's book club, and <laughs> it did not go well. They kept saying, "Why don't you talk about her at all? What about your son, you piece of shit?" And I was like, "Whoa, whoa, whoa! Why are you? How are you even thinking these things? How do you even get to the point where you think these things about? You me? don't even know me. You're like Ash." We've known you. We have known you since the birth of your child you don't talk to. We've known you for a minute, dude. Okay. I'm a little bit confused with that. That's all. That's all. That's all. Shannon, 90 Day Fiance. I feel like he adopted this French accent, too, just to be more manipulative. Yeah, I was like, well, I guess he, they said a island off the coast of Africa, which is probably he's French colonized. Yeah. Yeah. They probably speak French. Probably. It definitely helps. Avery needs therapy. Okay, yeah. I'm going to just say something about that. You're she's saying in, that she's I in need therapy. therapy when I was just concerned about bringing somebody from across the other side of the world all the way to America to be around me and my kids for the rest of my life. And you think I need therapy? You need therapy, girl. That was not a good you argument. You have no FaceTime now. No. He told me I don't have a camera. I believe him. Oh my goodness. What is that on my lip? Cara did not tell me. Oh, I got the crusties on my on my mouth. I got the side crusties. It's a horse. You look more like a little pig. <laughs> so we're back in Las Vegas. Oh my goodness, guys. I we found something at commercial though this that's whole experience super again. interesting. We're gonna get to it after this episode. Hey, I know you guys Just a little teaser. So have you ever repossessed so someone's property in their backyard? Okay. Come on now, we'll talk more about it later. Okay. Where'd they jack this music from? It hard. Bring it all the way up over your head. Sims. Slam it down like you're angry. There we go. Pretend like there's someone you don't like on the ground. I know, but it reminds and me slam. of a show that there we go. is on. Well, I wish I could work out like that again, but because of the quarantine, all the gyms are closed. So I got to do a little makeshift working out at the house. I will put on my favorite shows Wait. and I will watch them for an hour and walk the whole show. Just walk back and forth, back and forth. And yes, I do think I look cute now. <laughs> she does. She looks good. Not as good as the Williams. Williams is from Manchester, England, and he's 40 years old. Oh, oh, oh God. Oh. Yep, that's what I said oh, no. too when I saw the muscles in that six pack. So, I got some I got some questions on this one. First of all, what was up with that outfit she was wearing at the gym? She need I mean, you can't let the midriff out like that when it's all buckly and loose like that, you know? Hey. Especially not when you're trying to pick up somebody like the Williams with a, a dick root like that, you know? <laughs> dick root. Yeah, that shit is pretty crazy. My God. I just feel like... He's like... He's got Jason Statham vibes. Right? He's not a... Not like a chill dude. No. This guy has done some pretty aggressive bouncing in his past professionally, I would imagine. I was thinking more about the... Like the pressure level at the asshole region. No. Oh, yeah. I think he might be a tight ass. He might be a bit of a tight ass. Uh, let's uh, let's hear what she she thinks he's hot. Uh, anyone named the Williams clearly has some problems. Like who? Calls, oh no, he goes by the yourself? Williams. That's his name. That's that's what she refers to him as, uh, without question. You know, just like I don't know why y'all acting like the Williams isn't like the most normal thing in the world. Oh, that is so strange. He just sent me all of these emojis, and he put a rose beside he my name. He speaks exclusively in emoji. <laughs> Bunch of emojis. <laughs> oh my goodness. With good measure, yes. I was crazy about them emojis. Literally crazy. He wouldn't even say anything. He would just text hearts and 
and kisses and roses and flowers. That's how I knew he was American. About it. Yeah. Uh, I still use it emojis every now and then. It took me three months to realize he's illiterate. Not for this purpose. No, 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 no. <laughs> I love him so much, Cameron. You have no FaceTime him. <laughs> Oh my goodness, what is that on my lip? Not even the beginning of all your problems. I know, is that the only thing she noticed of everything yeah, going on like, in that picture? That's the one thing she had a question Your about? life is unraveling. <laughs> that just tells you that, you know, you took, you took your antidepressants and you haven't been drinking enough water that day, you know? Yeah, she... She looks like <laughs> she doesn't know exactly where she is. I'm just saying, uh, isn't dry mouth a big symptom of antidepressants? Yeah. I'm just saying. She had her weight, her weight loss surgery, and she was dealing with some shit, and now she's got the Williams on her dick, and she's feeling good, but the she's Williams. still still having to use a little bit of her meds. You know, it's a Notice they have not, uh, they have not cut to the Williams speaking about his experience I know we don't get yet. we haven't gotten a single interview with the Williams yet we'll see we might have one I had something out. on my lip the whole time and Cameron did not tell me I'm so angry oh my gosh cannot believe it Williams does communicate with me with his phone but the he Williams. said the camera's broken so he can see me but I can't see him mm, and he's happens. never sent me a video of himself oh no what the hell he put all them pictures up Ooh. It's just a, it's a click camera. Okay, it's not like a video camera. For Yolanda, I mean, come if on. you can't FaceTime with Everybody Williams because the camera on his phone is broke, how is Williams posting pics on Instagram? It's, it's a disposable. Okay. And then I go now get them printed and digitized, and then I digitize them up into my, my friend's computer, and then my friend in his library. They puts the digitized computer ones. pictures. So you guys, on the I did believe that his camera was broken, See? and no, he was not posting new pics. And um, I believe everything uh, he said. How about that? <laughs> case closed. Man. I just think it's pretty clear that he had a disposable camera that he had the pictures digitized from. And then he had those put onto the flash drive that was put onto his friend's computer that was then uploaded onto social media. I think that's pretty clear. That's why she yeah, has no questions. Like, like, the, like it's 2001. Exactly. Anyone named William get a picture of my Zanga. living in the past. You see those Oakleys he was wearing? Those are, you know, 2002 model. Yeah. This is, these are my headshots for when I was bouncing. When I was trying to move from bouncing into acting the first time. Jason Statham just hit. I was like, yeah, I'll get that B-movie Statham role yeah. of a lifetime. And then this motherfucker named Bautista kept coming in and taking all my roles. Why couldn't he have stayed a wrestler? Right? Had to come in here looking just like me. I actually do like, like uh, Dave Batista. Was it Dave Batista? I like yeah. him a lot, actually. He's really good. That's what I was saying. How you got to come in here being funnier than me, looking better and younger than me somehow? I don't know. Being charitable and shit. Right? Country. Always going to see cancer kids. I'm not getting a good sense of the Williams humor level through his emoji communication style that he has. If anything, you think that'd give you a better sense of how funny he is. Dude, no one's probably more surprised that it all, uh, that she believed it than he, him. He's like, there's no way. All I do is emoji text this woman. She's about to fly here. No, I think he, I think he has supreme confidence in his illusion and operates at a level of confidence where, you know, he can put, like, nobody would even, uh, attempt some of the things that he does the way he tries to just dismiss the nonsense that he's been doing uh if you don't have supreme confidence you know what i mean that's true you first have to buy it yourself before you can sell it that's true classic it's just like the hand uh, good manicure idea. yeah classic god I'm that's a just wonderful woman you don't know this man you've never met him She's so smart. The daughter's on. <laughs> My daughter definitely um, reversed the roles on me. She definitely became the mother, and I was the daughter that she was looking out for. <laughs> Let's see what else they're saying about me and Williams. Oh, 
Which one of y'all has a sexy uncle we can send to Auntie Yolanda's DMs <laughs> so she could be protected and get her back bent a little bit? Woo! <laughs> send him in person, okay? So we can sit down together face to face and talk. I'm I think he, I don't think he was thinking face to face. I think he was thinking you face the other way. Come on, Ted. Let's go. I face on, your man. back. Let's go. I bend your back. Let's see what they have to say about Big Ed here. Teddy Bear. Okay, here we go, Teddy. Let's see what happens. Mm -hmm. I tried to get Big Ed, but it wasn't available. So I got B G G E D D. So people go, oh look, it's b b b g e d d d. It's kind of funny. Yeah, e d d d. Hey mom, how are you doing? What? Hi pony. A pony is the horse. Yeah, small horse. I have a horse voice, so I sound like a pony. So my mom calls me pony. The first time I hear him to be called as a pony. Because I called him uh, as uh, Snakey, and actually don't think that he, he looked like a pony. <laughs> he looked more uh, like a little pig. <laughs> I think it's more like pony. Oh, pig. shit. How are you? Good. <laughs> How are you doing? Oh, like, man. I'm just <laughs> trashing you in front of my kids. <laughs> <laughs> She's always ragging on me about my hair. She loves to run her fingers through his mayonnaise hair. Yeah. <sighs> She's like, are you putting enough mayo in it? Yeah, yeah, have you been conditioning with your mayo? This feels like you've been using... What is this? Is this Miracle Whip? What have you been doing? You use real mayo. <laughs> you, you know you use real mayo. I taught you to use real mayo. Oh, oh my God. if I ever find myself sitting on my couch with mayo in my hair, I have had a horrible day. Well, you don't leave the mayo on. You let the mayo kind of settle in while you're in the bathroom. And that way... What is the purpose of that? You're crispy and moisturized all day. I don't think there's a real, re like a good reason that's backed in science or anything. But if you find something, let me know. Hey, when I FaceTime her right Is it the egg? 14, Is it the, the egg that goes in there okay. that helps? Because I've heard people cracking eggs hair? in hair. You're not going to stay in her house? I think that's to get, gonna like, stay die out. You're staying in her house? I bought pillows. Because it's an emulsifier. Because you know, like, my skin is soft, so I bought sheets. I have a sensitive skin condition. I did not know how he has a skin allergy. What kind of allergy? So quick recap. Jesus. <laughs> Her lack of understanding made that so much more offensive. <laughs> I know, man. Like, I feel like if she would have understood it, I still think she would have tried to talk shit in a really fucked up way because I think that's kind of her vibe. But to think that that means that he has like mites or bugs or something because he yeah. has an aller skin allergy is very interesting. And also that yeah. it's like laughable. Yeah. He's so gross. He's sick. He's, so <laughs> He's sick and nasty, disgusting. Though. I'm so, so sad. He's sick. Gross, man. Ed's daughter oh, man. is pretty. Ed's mom is pretty. And was a looker in her day. Yes, she was. And Ed is four foot eleven, actually oh. five foot and a half. Has no neck. That's oh, me. Whoa. Skin condition. Wait, five foot and a half. Just lie. Really, that was really... a lie. You said you're four eleven earlier. Like I think five foot and a half is like the like a way that short people have figured out that you can phrase five foot and one half inch to sound like yeah, five and a half like... feet. Five six. Yeah, it sounds like five and a half feet when you say it, but he's saying five and one half. Yeah. Five. Five feet one That's half. That's true. Life is cruel. Five sometimes. and a half foot. Well, thank you so much. Why don't you describe the water that I'm drowning in, right? That's hilarious. Thank you for sharing. Oh, I already bought a ring. <laughs> <laughs> no. No, no, no. Take it back. Um, you know what? My mom actually never saw the ring. So when I returned from the Philippines, I obviously took the ring back and got my money back. It was like over two grand. You don't know if it, this is going to work out, Pony. Have you spoken to oh. Tiffany about how she feels about all this situation? I can't. She won't this talk to me. This is amazing. Tiffany's my daughter, and we've been so close all of her life. When I told my daughter about Rosemarie, it was downhill from there. She 
She stopped talking mm -hmm. to me. Oh. The girl she's talking is younger than his daughter. Six years. You know, to each his own. You know, when I first met Rose, the, the, the first day we talked, I said, look, I'm old enough to be your father. And she's like, um, age is just a number. You know, it's what's in the heart. And that's what I ran with for three months. And then she found and out what was in your heart. And she was like, that won't work either. <laughs> oh, yeah, he's gross. And he has bugs in his skin. Also, also oh, a deal breaker. I just want to be happy for once. I just for oh, once, I want it so to work sad. out. I'm going to keep calling Tiffany. I'm not going to give up. I love her, Mom. Poor pony. If this guy, Ed, really loves his daughter more than anything... He will cancel his looming disaster <laughs> of a trip pronto. Well, too late. Nothing about my trip was a disaster. You know what? It was a gamble on my part, and it was a gamble on her part. But in the end, it didn't work out. But I don't have any regrets. The gift that he Rose frames gave that really me well for himself. That I, I, I'm not afraid to love. That's almost delusional. That's it. That's it. Anyways, okay. That's the that end of that fun. story. She broke up with me because she called me a liar. Because she broke up with me because she called me a liar. That's that pathological reasoning again. Yeah. Distance sure, yourself. Bro. Surely there's some information in there that you're leaving out, Ash. That's a weird reason to break up with someone. Oh, I have to break up with you because I said a mean thing to you. Yeah. Makes sense. <laughs> It could be a language barrier. Thing. We like went over to his Instagram. He and speaks English. Only my photos were deleted. In he said that no, your pictures weren't deleted. What are you talking about? You're a liar. Yo, Ed needs to take a test to find out where his neck went. I found a hot tub in Rico. <laughs> inches are where it counts. Oh my god. I think I know where we're going for the next hot tub repo. It must oh. be audible. Yeah. Hmm. There we go. Audiobooks, podcasts, originals. You can get anything on Audible, Amazon Company. Text listen 20 to 500-500. Thousands of our titles were read by oh. ki serial killer uh, Ed uh, Kemper. We have over a thousand titles read by your favorite serial killer, Ed Kemper. Everyone's favorite serial killer. Woo! All right, we ready. We ready. We ready. We good. We good. Okay, I'm gonna put this away, and we good. We gonna to do this. Wow, Ash seems like a complete player to me. Am I alone? Look at what the audience thought. A hundred percent of people thought he was a player, and seventy-three percent thought he was a mega player. <laughs> I mean That seems like a biased survey Damn At least you didn't get catfish Three of four of the options were player I'm doing my lemon ginger Yeah, it's a bad poll Drink, tea, whatever you want to call it Poor and, Ash um, Got the lemon Got the ginger Got my cup uh, Funny story, I have to tell you that So This is how he gets the ladies Those two things Caused Avery to break up with me she was following, following a diet and I was supporting her but with the diet. I was drinking my lemon ginger. She got really annoyed and she thought I was lying to her. I was not following her diet when actually I was. So she broke up with me because she called me a liar. Because I was drinking that. Okay. Uh, no. I'm ready. That was not at all what happened. She definitely called you a liar, but it wasn't about the contents of his ginger tea. That pillow is so furry. I know, it looks like his hair. He's like, you know who likes these furry pillows? 20 year old girls. Yeah, shove their face down in it. And I say, this is how you build a relationship. You can tell a lot by how a single man decorates his home. Yeah, you can tell a lot by the muffled voice of a young lady in a hairy pillow. It tells <laughs> you a lot about <laughs> their personalities. Pillow. Story. There's, there's mascara Holy. on your furry pillow. It's like, yes, yes, it is. How can you tell? How can you tell it's mascara? It's a black pillow. I made it <laughs> sure. I made sure it was on the black pillow. It's a white couch. I shoved her face right in the black pillow, so the mascara is not shown anywhere. How could you see this? I didn't even That's realize true. that you're supposed to wear a shirt under that. So she looks good. Yeah, I don't know. I gave everybody a little show. I support it. Does Avery know she's damn near naked? <laughs> Yes, Avery, Cassie, Avery looked good. Okay. I know that I 
looked damn near naked in that hot ass romper and i thought i looked good like i did look good yeah there you go there you so, go stand by it avery i'm, I'm proud of you see ash in australia did you even put that on the table to where he could come visit here Let's see how many yeah, times uh, her time ago to get friend's boyfriend set. checks her out with He's that like, outfit on. Um, I didn't want to tell you this because I didn't want to like stir the pot or anything like that, but because I had a bankruptcy in my past, my visa was getting denied. I never said denied. I applied for my visa to come to the States. She broke up with me one day before I went for my interview. I didn't go to the appointment. I lost money because it's money that you can't get back. A week later, she's going out with me. When I told her, she understood that I didn't get my visa or I was denied my visa. I was never denied my visa. So I don't know where she's coming up with that story. But then we've had like some ups and downs that have concerned me. I mean, you were there with me the very first time that there was like some red flags that were going off. We like went over to his Instagram <laughs> where he had posted like photos of me and all, only my photos were deleted. In the tell all, he said that no, your pictures weren't deleted. What are you talking about? And I said, Jen even was there. She witnessed it. And this is proof in the pudding. You're a f liar. Sorry. Let's, let's hear him. Will he defend so himself? Then it's always a dead giveaway because you know the producers are there like, Ash, do you have anything to say to this? And he goes, no. <laughs> I have nothing to say. <laughs> no. I mean, she's really incriminating. She's really hammering on you here. You could at least say, I don't know what she's talking about or something like you usually do. He's like, no. There's something about drinking wine on the floor in front of children's toys that's just like sad. I know. Uh, it's she does. She definitely drinks her wine everywhere, which is why I I got wino vibes. But uh, okay. her you know, teeth it, are just like always purple. <laughs> she got purple stains all over her shirt and stuff. And she switched <laughs> while she's still sitting there from a rosé to a dark wine. So uh, yeah, you know oh, she yeah. parties. She's she's at least hammered half a bottle. I'm going to be generous and say she finished off a half a bottle of rosé and opened another one. And this is her first glass of the second bottle. Yes. Let's like, just be generous. Just a naked baby doll behind her, like a play school play set. The thing that I noticed that told me that she spends a lot of time in the fridge was the, uh, like, you know how you have those plates over, uh, like your, uh, electrical socket or your cable uh wire you'll put the plate on it and it'll come out of that yeah you know uh earlier we saw up on this wall over here uh she's got something naked with no plate on it coming out of the wall like around the corner great it's a it's a red flag no we started messaging him he even said like somebody must have hacked into my account Mm-hmm. Trump oh, says yeah. that. Trump says that. And I, and I showed it her was proof hacked. of what was going on. And then she's always turning around and she's trying to actually find a problem. <sighs> oh, yeah. It's just disheartening to see that. That's We're getting the... positive cases because we keep testing. Yeah, that was the worst argument. He even realized halfway through it that he wasn't making any sense and just gave up. He's like, yeah, fuck He's it. Like, yeah, I'm not helping myself. Fuck it. Let me flex my biceps. This always works. <laughs> Let me eat the popcorn. Uh, yeah. I thought maybe he was getting messages from other women. And he just didn't want them to know that I was his girlfriend. That's exactly what it was. The guy is a player. He is a kangaroo. Jigoro. Jigoro. He is a jigoro. This is so frustrating. <laughs> it's very frustrating, actually. <laughs> He's gangly. Uh, he yeah, he's media. a gangly she jiggler. never posted anything of me on her social media. So let's make that clear right now. So if really this is what she's thinking, well, it's bull I just don't want you to make another mistake to where Case close. you're going to be unhappy again. Yes. Another mistake. I don't mistake. want to continue to make mistakes. Allusions to <laughs> past disasters they've okay, seen this like woman. Taylor. Avery is annoying, and it's just the first episode. <laughs> like this is like that guy. What was his name? The Williams or something weird that you used to. The do. Williams. Yeah, I never bought that either. I'm just, I'm telling you, Ash is another The Williams. No, I saw a video this time. He's, he, he's showing me video of him. He's real. 
How am I annoying, girl? Tell me so I can fix it. Okay. She's like blotching out on her chest and she's been scratching it real bad or something. Yeah. Or is that a scar? It's like there's a couch behind her. Sit on the couch. Be interviewed on the couch. You're like crouching on the floor next to a hastily put together. Yeah, I wonder. Cheese plate on a frisbee. I wonder if they. If she didn't want to be sitting in the chair for it or something, because it would make more sense to have her in the chair with the camera set up over here, but they have a side camera and a camera over here for some reason, even though the TV's probably like over on this side of the room. Like, dude, I bet you it was the producer and he just like Werner Herzog this thing. He's like, oh, it's much as it's so much a sad of you if we shoot her from here. I think this might be the same brand that dude had. This is this a mulberry? No, his was red. Yeah, you're not okay. purple. Okay, that's actually annoying right there. That's actually pretty annoying. So um I get it, girl. I get it. I get it. And now that's annoying. I found oh. myself annoying too. It's simple as that. These tweets are something else. Oh. Chrissy Teigen chimed in. She um, created a poll. I've never gotten more <laughs> for anything I've ever done in my life. Oh my goodness. Ugh. It's the first time to see <laughs> Girl, these tweets are a mess. People will just focus on the dumbest things. <laughs> I know. Like the Williams not being uh, real. Anyway, the Williams or 90 Day Fiance <laughs> before the 90 Days. Is a the catfish. Williams. We know this, but also I can't help the but laugh. Weekly.com. They say 90 Day Fiance star Yolanda's boyfriend was revealed to be a catfish on the May 3rd episode of the <laughs> show. The Williams <laughs> had raised some red flags before. His girlfriend's children. <laughs> Even AI knows that the and Williams is full of shit. She knows how funny that is. <laughs> Google knows about no shit. I wonder if that happens when Trump is spitting bullshit in the like back when he was in the Oval Office. If he'd be talking and all of a sudden the Google Home would kick on and be like, That is factually inaccurate. According to statistics, actually, minorities do support Trump. That's crazy. Yeah, I bet no it does way. happen actually. Trump is still in the Oval Office and he's going to do some. I bet he's going to trash the apartment not worrying about getting a security deposit on the way out. More so than already? He just fired the head of like three major agencies. He's like, I'm leaving all these KFC buckets in here. I'm not picking up any of it. Yeah. Uh, yeah, like all of his hamburgers and stuff. All of his fast food. Mini, mini french like fries. Trash. Yeah. He's like, I'm just going to leave it in here. Mini, mini french fries. That's my favorite thing he's ever said. Look, they're eating healthy. Yeah, that's good. Just like having the the disease and rot in this woman's life might not be diet. It is uh, her believing men on Instagram are are telling her the truth. And she's really feeling herself over there. Is she even wearing a bra? What's going on with that? <laughs> Take her tablet away. I'm still showing you how to a catfish. <laughs> okay, I got to get back to watching. Okay, come on now. Let's see. Hey. Poor thing. <laughs> when I get a text no from Williams, I mean, it makes my day. I'm calling him now. Oh, we get to see what oh, he sounds God. like. Hello? Like a robot. Hello, baby. How are you? I'm doing good. How are you? <laughs> what? He's from Nigeria. He's from Nigeria. Wow, they from Nigeria. it wasn't a British accent. And see, it's easier for somebody outside to tell that wasn't blind and deaf in love like me. Oh, the kids. <laughs> oh, they good. The kids are good. <laughs> the British accent. Is He's from Nigeria. Nigeria. Did you hear the desperation in her voice, like trying to not sound not cool to the Williams? Yeah. Around? <laughs> oh, oh, I'm God. good. Oh, man. Oh, I'm, I'm, are you cool? Are you cool? I'm cool. Oh, that's so sad. 
is the sexiest <laughs> accent in the world. And for me to have a man with it, and oh. she talks about I'm his French that. accent. <laughs> no, Yolanda, wake up. Oh, I can shake her right now. At least she's honest. She does what you're supposed to do. Yeah. Oh, I love you too. Oh, God. Damn. <laughs> Has Yolanda never heard a British accent? Sis can't be this naive. <laughs> Come on, guys. All of you are getting on me about me believing Williams. But at some point, I'm sure y'all were in love and you did crazy things as well. Recently, he... That is not the last point on that, Yolanda. No, nobody no. nobody does that. Nobody does that. And the few people that do do that, they've tracked all of them down. Like MTV went out, picked every one of them up, and identified them and humiliated them on camera. So nobody does that. I do you love that Nigeria's, like... The number one thing. Like, pick. top export is, is scam. <laughs> Everyone just assumes it, too. They're like, mm, I don't know. I barely heard him. Is it Nigeria? Probably Nigeria. It's, it's probably Nigeria. It's the scam capital of the world. Somewhere where French or British people went and fucked stuff up back in the day. He now said, people are like, you know, we have I've got all this money in a bank account. I just need you to send me 100000 so I can pay for the fees to get it out. Yeah, they're charging me these weird fees to release it, and I have all my all my money tied up in that bank. So uh, I just need uh, twenty to two hundred grand uh, wired <laughs> to this offshore bank account, whatever you have available. Anyway, it's good to talk to you. I know me, your old professor, haven't talked in a long time, but uh, it's good to, good to get back in touch, former student. Uh, thank you, and God bless. Thanks. Bye. That's exactly how it goes down. And it's crazy how many old people fall for it. And she's not even that old. Yeah. She just ran but just didn't grow up with computers. See each other. I'm tired yeah. of talking on the phone and texting. So I really want to see you. So I just need to you to body. help me with the ticket. Oh. I didn't give him the money and I told him it'd be better if I come there yeah. to see him. Mm -hmm. That's smart on her part. Mm -hmm. Now that I know that he was a catfish, I would have never heard from Williams again if I sent him that money. Mm -hmm. That would have been the end of everything. I know. And she it. didn't even do it on purpose. She did it because she wanted to, to go find out airport. where she lived. Where you live. Oh, oh, I remember. You gonna pick me I'm up? <laughs> no, you are. Uh, okay. I wanna, I wanna be there for you, baby. Yolanda, please give Caesar a call. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all delusions line right up. <laughs> Actually, Caesar, yeah, he, do he it reach out to on me. on the prior season. He, um, he, oh, that's so funny. he gave me his phone number, but I never called him. He's like, I am I real somebody. and also dumb. <laughs> if they got together, they would be like the Uber Mark, like for some huge <laughs> yeah, they're scam just like artists. <laughs> living in their car in a month because they've just like fallen for every scam. Somehow y'all like, have managed to expose more people because of the chemistry that was created between you. It allowed this man to manipulate mass numbers of people and money at the same time. They, that, the only time they're not influence. homeless is the one week out of the year where they uh, can stay in the timeshare that they got scammed into, <laughs> into buying into. <laughs> that they sold their house for? <laughs> yeah. But they don't have any way to get there because it's, it's in Barbados. Uh, yeah, exactly. And the car they live in can't fly. What are you going to do? You know, we talked to... He, he mentioned that access could be a problem, but we had no idea that he meant this, you know. It's water, crazy how asleep uh, uh, that dog uh, is and how animated she is. An ocean between us? I mean, how could that be an access issue? I don't understand it. Um, yeah, I know, right? The dog might be deaf. I think the, the dog's uh, over her shit. It's, uh, <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Say I'm over this. But she's like she's, hollering she's... and the dog's not even like perking its ears. It's because she's doing the same thing she always does. She goes, oh, look, there's another man talking to me. Hey, look, look. Hey, the dog's like, I'm hey, just going to sleep. Pookie, this is another man talking to me. He's like, right, you are crazy as hell. There's no man talking to you. <laughs> no man would talk to you. Look at yourself. No, I'm going back to bed. He doesn't have a camera. Wake me up if you got some cookies or something. Leave me the fuck alone. This camera's broken. With muscles. I really do. And um, I don't see any muscles on Caesar. So we could definitely be friends. But Dayton, no. <laughs> Caesar just needs to cook up some pictures with some muscles on him. He'd be good. I've never gotten more for anything I've ever done in my life than the mayo scene, and here it comes. My the biggest fear, you guys, after watch. watching this scene, is that my face will be on a jar of mayo. Oh, God.
I don't think Mayonnaise wants this endorsement. That would be a selling point. We okay. should get sponsored by Hellman's. Yeah, they're like, no. Nobody, no. We don't want you to have anything to do with our company. Please distance yourself. I wonder what the story behind the weird mice teddy bear thing is. We're going to see more. They're, those are homemade. I bet you he painted those at like a paint and play when he back when he was uh, a young oh, boy God. of 30. And uh, we're going to get to see. You can see some hints of it over here on the wall. And here he's redecorated his home with the still shots he's taken from his photography business of young girls. And he doesn't even frame them. Oh, he got that's to the, weird. He got to the point where he just started putting up like the headshot size prints. And you can tell he didn't start Like a there. teenage boy's room? <laughs> like a teenage boy's room. And he didn't start there. He started with like uh, Sports Illustrated clippings and like movie posters of sexy shit. Uh, but you can tell what it developed into because all the spare space on the walls is filled with this type of stuff. Oh, no. In a few days, I'm getting ready to get on a plane and go. Let's meet see if Rosemary Rose notices. My life. I got this while exploring doing furniture manufacturing in China in 2008 because it's it's soft, it's warm. Since I met Rose, I I want to look young for her, so I have been. We all know what that container is. Taking the label yeah. off is not going to protect it. That's real mayo. Oh, God. We know it. He referred to it as mayo. So you oh. know it's real mayo. Anyone that uses Miracle Whip doesn't let the word mayo come out of their fucking mouth. That was Miracle Whip's whole approach, I'm sure. And yeah. Hellman's mayonnaise. You say mayonnaise. If you if you eat Hellman's, you talk mayonnaise. You know, you don't say mayonnaise. You say, Ugh. I eat mayonnaise. This actually kind of makes me nauseated. Well, we can do it in slow mo. Uh, yeah, no, not at all. But that color blue, that's what tells you that this is real mayo. Hellman's goes with a light blue, you know? Yeah. Miracle Whip is that color, but his lexicon's wrong for Miracle Whip. Been dyeing my hair and it irritates my scalp. So I found out that mayonnaise makes it smoother. Stop dyeing your hair. Less dry. I know, right? It's still gray. Oh my it God. looks dignified. Why you take a mayonnaise to your hair? He just told you. <laughs> you don't listen. <laughs> See, that's why they had a problem. Rosemary never listens. What? Oh, we missed it. We'll get another shot. Condom. Don't put the condom in your hair. That's not a condom on my head. It's a shower cap. So I don't get the mayonnaise on my Italian leather sofa. Yeah, stupid. Um, big Ed. Mayonnaise will just make your hair greasy and disgusting. But there is this great stuff they sell in the stores called conditioner that makes hair soft while leaving it, you know, clean. Okay, well, valid point. First of all, a lot of the 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 shelf brand conditioners have a lot of perfume. Mm. They have a lot of really really bad chemicals. So mm. I stay away from anything that's not natural. And look, like I feel mayonnaise. pretty good at the end of the night putting something in my hair that I put on my bacon and lettuce tomato sandwich, okay? As so he does keep it, it out, in the fridge. You don't smell like an egg salad sandwich. I have not like been exactly honest with Rose. Ugh. She's told me she's 5'2", really like so I said, yeah, I'm 5'2", I'm two, too. I'm 4'11". We're moving this Where over here so we can have reaction on reaction. Buddy is five and a half. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, I would rather lie about three inches, then wear platform shoes. Oh, here we go. Clearly. Tweets. Um, I can't wait to be face to face with Rose. Uh, is Rose 49 also? How's that gonna work? <laughs> Listen, I just figured this yeah, out. That's it doesn't matter how up. tall a woman is compared to a man or vice versa. If that's you guys are laying down am anatomically, it doesn't oh, matter. Jesus. Oh my God. You can still reach it. Oh, Ed. Ed, I'm going to pause you. I'm going to pause you on that point and let you soak in it, okay? Because that was really, uh, I'm just going to say it. That's, that's inappropriate, Ed. Very inappropriate. Oh, uh, your daughter's uh, watching, Ed. His daughter, there's no way she watches anything that he has anything to do with. Uh, especially Did not just to hear to him, him hear him talk about how sexy he is and how much, uh, you know, him slamming young chicks isn't a big deal. Uh, I don't think she watches. Yeah. 
Yeah. But uh, his the basis of his argument's incorrect. It absolutely matters to women whether a guy's short. You know, they screen out men by height. They don't want, you know, a lot of a lot of them will have stuff where they're like, no men under six foot. You know, that's like a legit thing. Men, men yeah. don't do that. Men discriminate way more based on like look and stuff. Uh, yeah. But uh, yeah, that's that's a thing, Ed. That's, I get, the incels love to talk about that. They're like, that ain't because I'm short. <laughs> really? Yeah. That's why. Yeah, that's, that's why Ed switched thing. his name. That way they they couldn't they couldn't be confused anymore and think that he's short. Poor Ed. Because, because his Ed. name's Big Ed. Yeah. It's like I think a you know what I'm talking about. Wide, not tall. Big. He thinks he thinks we know what he's talking about. Do you think? Do you think we know what he's oh, talking yeah. about? Big Ed. He's hung like the Mister Ed. Yeah, I mean, we know we know what you're talking about, technically, Ed. We're all the same height when we're laying down horizontal. Poor Ed. That is gross. Rose is very evasive. He's only hurting his chances of future past. relationships. She doesn't want to talk true. about it, and that. That bothers me if I'm going to make this level of commitment, I need to know that she is being honest. You know, I'm going to ask that she take an STD test. Chat escalated nice. very quickly. <laughs> she wouldn't answer a question about an ex-boyfriend, so that bitch needs to get tested. Why is that strange? <laughs> What's wrong with me asking a woman it's the timing, that has Ed. over 4,000 friends that she doesn't have some, you know, disease. Wait, he's that's, basing it on her I friend count on social concern. media? I, if that's I awesome. Know that, uh, he would, uh, he would uh, ask me to uh, take an STD test and, and I would not let him come here ever. I should have got tested before I went down to the Philippines because when I got back, what? I took the test. And, I and he had a skin allergy. I don't have an STD, okay? And I'm actually an inch and a half taller than I thought I was. What's up with that? Oh! Ed, oh, coming I with the slams. Because like, when I got back, I had a wicked case of syphilis. Yeah, he's like, when I got back, I caught a skin allergy from her. So, there. I caught, I brought the human papillomavirus back with me. Yeah, she must have skin allergy fleas or whatever she said I had. Because yeah, I, I caught it from worms. her. <laughs> on my dick yeah uh they found the neck the meat flies the neck meat below my back hairline to be extra tender and deep <laughs> so they worked their way in there uh because it was nice and dark and moist uh because i kind of have a crease that that's disgusting. developed fixed up my patio uh -oh. because it's my sanctuary i did the lights up above but I also put in this amazing Oh, wow. Jacuzzi. He decked that out. And That'd be hard to get in there with a, with a, uh, just like a yeah, forklift. It'd be hard to repossess that thing. I yeah. sit in the jacuzzi. Anytime I, I see one now, I'm going to think I about the repossession jacuzzi. logistics on it. I mean, I, I read my... I read oh, my phone Ed phone. has weird tattoos. I mean, here's a good one. Is it just me? Or from now on, every time you see a hot tub, are you going to think about the repossession logistics on it? Uh, all the time now. That's all I think about like that i mean you could you could wheel a forklift through there by Dude, 10 minutes flat. it only takes a half hour i could set a new record you see I could a get box that in truck 21 minutes and a dolly you put it up on its side a box truck and a dolly it yeah. had to be a pretty big dolly i mean i i cursely I, I mean like i did a cursory glance at that guy's repossession of the hot tub it looks like they uh flipped it on its side wheeled it out with two dudes and a dolly Okay, I sh I, I'm, the dollies I'm thinking of are pretty I, It would require extreme balance to be able to pop a hot tub up on the, the dollies that I'm thinking of and wheel them out. I think they use ratchet straps to attach it to uh, the dolly. That makes sense. Okay, that checks out. We'll get a look at that after the, after the episode. Yeah, the next people nature. built their pyramids. Ed is a loser. Guess what? Damn. I'm nice. my loser. I'm Teddy's loser. Yeah. I'm my daughter's loser. You're our loser, I don't Ed. Care, dude. Oh, here we go. Ed needs to take a test to find out where his neck went. <laughs> okay, first of all, my neck 
never went anywhere. It's always been there. It's been it's always, a little shorter. It's always been gone. Than normal, but my inches are where it counts. Oh, I know y'all heard about sliding. Ed's got a hog on him, huh? Slid in my DM. Yeah. Please don't say that. Mom told us not to slide in DMs, but here she is sliding all the way to the UK. Y'all know good and well y'all in the DMs too. <laughs> Yeah, there's a lot going Chrissy on. Chrissy Teigen chimed in. And Chrissy Teigen chimed in. in. Okay. Williams lying or not lying. Wow. It's just lying or lying. He's lying. <laughs> She's pretty much on the money. He was lying. 100% of people thought he was lying chips. for that poll. In one week, I'm leaving for England to meet Williams, the man of my dreams. Okay. But other than my oldest daughter, Kara, my other children do not know about Williams. <laughs> mm -mm. <laughs> Uh-oh, here we go. I have some news to tell you all. I met somebody. No, no. Online. Mm -hmm. I know your new dad. Slid in my DM. Yeah. Please don't say that. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> Oh, sliding we in Netflix and chill. <laughs> My name's gonna be Yolanda the Williams. Cool. Whatever, I don't mind that. Y'all know good and well y'all be in the DMs too. No, we don't read our DMs. DMs. We are much smarter than that. Let's see what people are tweeting about me. Okay. <laughs> Mom told us not to slide in DMs, but here she is sliding all the way to the UK. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know older people. We were an instant Instagram like that. Not a good look. <laughs> We've been talking for close to seven months now. And um, I'm actually in love with him. I know you wanted you wanted them to gang up on me, so I wouldn't take that from oh. That was your whole intentions. That was my plan. Okay, here's one from Reddit. Yolanda and Williams, what the hell did they ever talk about? Seriously, delusional. You know what, what they talked you about. Guys talk about. You know what they talked, talked about. about. Everything. We talked about everything. And, and we talked about our future plans. And, you know, we talked about the food there, the food he wanted me to try. What was the food? The um, food that he wanted to eat off my body. Was, um, I think he like said the burger goat pie. stuff. It was a burger yeah. pie or something. He tried <laughs> right? to explain it. Domestically grown uh, goat yeah. over a it fire. Was just, Comforting. We just comforted each other. Now looking Plain at it, you probably didn't. You know, like stuff they have in Nigeria. Yeah, fresh. it is strange. I know it's strange, but Kara will be going you can with me. Get it fresh me. there. Mind you, she's never Facetimed him. What are you saying when you told him to Facetime? <laughs> His phone is broke, guys. <laughs> <laughs> well, <he can> <laughs> How can library. you say that to all your kids with a straight face? With her. It's just too fishy to me, um, <laughs> to be honest. It's Very like that mustache you yeah. got on there. The kids are so much smarter than her. Didn't it sound weird to you? When I look at it now, every time I said it, it sounded crazy. Because this is a grown man without a camera and no means of getting a new camera. So, yes, I sounded delirious and crazy. That was the yes. only thing that she thought sounded And crazy. I may be rushing this thing. Because I don't want to be alone, and I oh, that know sucks. for a fact oh, that nah, I feel I'm going to be alone one day. That's something I can't face. It will be easier to not be alone at if you give point, up on really Williams and move on to a real person. <laughs> not Get a at dog. that moment. <laughs> See if you can borrow Teddy for the weekend. Well, you know you're going to be alone if you keep fucking with the Williams. He's not real, okay? Hey, we're all born alone, and we die alone. That's, like, part That's of... That's what they should have told her. Yeah, your life is just, co like your goal is to be able to cope with that when it comes to be your time. Like if the youngest at the table was just like, well, you know, mama, you're born alone and you die alone. Okay. I don't want to hear about the Williams anymore. Let's eat dinner. <laughs> I mean, it's true. Unless you take a bunch of people with you. That's, I mean, yeah. Like you, like you used to be able to back in the good old days. Uh, I think the before airport security fucked it all up. Yeah, because I, I think you used to take your slaves into the afterlife to make sure you were served. And dude, yeah, they would. Ever since they got rid of slavery, that was so hard. With yeah, you just had to starve to death in the tomb. I bet or so get volunteers. Mummies were pissed on. <laughs> you think that'd be the first thing I did? Why do you think? Wait, by which person? 
by the living people entombed with the with the pharaoh or whatever like i would as soon as they closed me up in there i'd go piss on the, the mummy you don't think they were spy. in there just like worshiping him into oblivion i mean there has to, there had to be a few disgruntled like foot hand servants you know what i mean i probably or one. did they kill them were they alive when they're that's entombed what, that's what i was thinking i think they killed them the I think they killed him or else we would have definitely seen evidence of rulers' bodies being defaced. Like like they find uh, the bodies after they've been entombed and discovered with like the servant, like hang, like putting his dick in, like trying to hang his balls in the ruler's mouth. And you find they're like dead bodies like that because uh -huh. he did that. That is so gross. Like his last, he was doing that because he didn't have anything else to do and he wanted to attack him one last time. So he died in that position. Oh, so. Dunking your balls in the pharaoh's mouth. That's why yeah. they have to kill them. Or Keep the them doing any of that crazy stuff. Viking rulers. Upper decking your, your toilet. The Viking rulers, wouldn't they have a female uh, like die and go like be sacrificed with you into the afterlife? So that you'd have a bride, one of your one of your brides. Didn't they burn them? I mean, I think the Viking kings were sent out to sea and like burned, but the ones that they, they would also, what they would do is they'd bury you in like a ship and they'd put the uh, slaves next to you with all your swords and like some things for the afterlife. But I don't know. We'll look into, we'll see if anybody got pissed on. We'll see if they found anything about that. I felt like you were trying to make us feel guilty, which sometimes you get away with, but this time I was not having it. Mm -mm. Wow. Okay. I guess I got to work on my mom guilt skills. <laughs> oh, the dog's finally. <laughs> Yolanda kids are a bunch of immature little brats. I love to see my mom be happy and have someone in her life. She okay. Joe Rivera is the new, the Williams. He's coming after her. You know she's yeah. going back at him in his DMs. She's like, so what she's did gonna you say? get catfished again. I love a man that loves loves a mom. You know that loves his mom. He's like, do you have Cash App? Yeah, right. He goes, my camera's broken. I need a new camera. He has a house full of haters. Time to free up some space and kick a few of them out. Ooh, what is his name? Joe Rivera. Yeah, I'll send his mom Williams' number. Oh, yeah. Maybe she See, would like she to Williams as well. Oh, yeah. gosh. She probably would. My kids are everything. And even though they're against my relationship with Williams, I just really believe that I deserve to find love again and I want to find love again. When that I mustache the table, is suspect. What did you guys talk about? He was talking she about suspicious looking crazy. motherfuckers earlier. <laughs> we knew it was really bad, but maybe we have to sign you up for... A authentic dating site. Yeah, like J date I will or something. show you the creeps out there and how Armors to stay only. away from Christian Mingle. What do you think? A local man? Would you guys accept it? I would accept any man Match. that's real com. and I can actually see. <laughs> Our date with destiny is upon us. I'm hoping I'll get it ripped to shreds. I'm gonna get into my Zen mode right now. <sighs> Start rolling it on your back. Oh god. Teddy, relax. Oh god. Is that butter? Margarine? Oh, yes. Struggling not to focus on the cleavage. He spends most of his days basting himself in food goods. How much money have you spent I think it might dance? be mustard. Five, <laughs> I give what I did for like this. <laughs> hey, mom, are you ready to watch? You're not sleeping at his house, are you? Best sex of my life. I've had really good sex before, too. <laughs> Do you uh. know the name of the airport? <laughs> He could have gave me 10 <laughs> airports. I would have helped him figure it out. Tom's intentions are about as real as your lips, Darcy. Well, first of all, why don't you start with spelling my name right? Mini Pops is what Rose will call Big Ed. That's actually really creative. I like that, Mini Pops. I swear Williams is the laziest scammer ever. He doesn't even try to fake a British accent. <laughs> he was lazy. 